Uh, yeah. I've made a boo-boo, everyone. I've made a boo-boo. I decided to record the rest of my Enclave LP so I could record it at a later date. But unfortunately, uh, I didn't realise that I hadn't plugged the microphone in until after I had finished the game. Imagine my distress when I went to review my uh, footage and found that it was completely silent. Now I could have uh, just commentated over that footage uh, in retrospect, but no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so we're going to do it all again. I'm going to do it all again. To be honest, there was only the three main missions left, and then there was the three bonus missions to do. Um, so it's not that bad, but it's still a bit, oh, you idiot. So it's the last time I'm going to do that, and it was the only time I ever started recording without checking that the mic was okay. Ironic, don't you think? So we're going to the mines of Ungard, in which I got the 600 out of 600 gold, so I'm going to have an extortionate amount of gold. Uh, I played it with the goblin, and yeah, I didn't have all of this. I had medium armor, I had two health potions, I didn't have the redeemer armor, I had the dwarven crossbow, I didn't have any magic bolts. Because luckily I could review my old, um, no, that's right, I had fireblade and that. Yeah, that looks about right. That looks about right, that's what I had. Yeah, because I could review my old footage, and um, so hopefully recording this time you can hear me and we can uh, make some progress. So, once again, traveling deep below into the deserted mines, you are hoping to find the bridge before the Selenheim soldiers do. The Enclave infidels may even be planning a counterattack. So I gotta find the three bomb components, blow up the bridge to stop the Selenheim counterattack, and find the portal. Uh, so I've done this before, you know. I've done this before. Kill this gnome. Uh, then I head down this way. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little bit blasé about all of this, but I've, I've actually seen it twice. So here we push this cart down here, like um, an Indiana Jones type type thing going on, except without the Indiana Jones bit. And there's a bit of the bomb. Yes, I actually played this twice. I will explain why when I get to the end of the level. So this is my third time walking through this in about as many hours. If I was sensible, I would just die. I would leave it so that I would come back to it later on and be a bit more fresher for it. Um, but I'm not very sensible. So we'll do it now. Actually, I played it two and a half times because the first time I played it, I died. But now I'm well aware of what it's going to throw at me. Don't worry, I'll pretend to be surprised at stuff. There's a ledge over there, which leads to this diamond. Now, I can snipe people over here. On this bridge. Wow. Yeah, this guy with the crossbow here, he, he keeps owning me every time. He's a far better sniper than I am. Ow. There's a, there's a wizard there, and he's the guy I'm really after. Uh, ow, okay, yeah, you see, he just completely killed me there. I really shouldn't have bothered trying to do that. Let's just get up. No, 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 don't drink that. Oh, damn it. I pressed the wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong button because I'm playing so, too many different games at the same time. Well, obviously not at the same time, but uh, you know what I mean. I kill this guy, and then these guys are coming down in that lift. You see that lift coming down? That's some uh, damn enclavers coming, but um, we should be able to get an AOE. At no, we didn't get the AOE on them. AOE. Because, yeah, that really hurts them. As you can see. And they brought the flint down with them, which was really nice. They brought the flint down. If they left it up on the surface, I wouldn't have been able to blow the bridge up. But they brought it down for me. That's so nice of them. 
Now we get to one of the more difficult sections of the level. Not this bit, because this guy's asleep. We shall punish him accordingly. I really want to take this mage out, because it's a damn... Oh boy, there's no one on the bridge. Alright, I'm just gonna have to go down there. I might die. I've got I've got two healing, healing potions. Which is good. Some gold there. Gold there. Right, yeah, yeah, this guy. I'm just gonna block and like try and take him out hand to hand because he's he's a way better ratch than I am. Yeah, that works better. But yeah, this uh, this this wizard, I don't know where he is. He's always around here somewhere, he's very tough. Get up there. Get that five gold, because it makes all the difference. Yeah, now we can get that. I don't know where that mage is, it's really annoying me. He's, I know he's around here somewhere, he's got he's got an incinerator. Which does its job rather well as a gnome. Yeah, just kill the gnome. The worst enemies in the game. Worst as in no pathetic, easy to kill worst. Oh that mage seems to have disappeared, which is no bad thing. Maybe it's just what the game wants me to think. Mm, this bit's an absolute bastard. 